Good morning and welcome to an all new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Colin Wright. And I'm Nathan Tillahan. With the stress of returning to campus, students are needing the wellness center more than ever. We go to Landon Markham with the story. Over the quarantine hybrid schedule of last year, the wellness center was not used by many students. Now with the return to campus, the center is back up and running with more people than ever. The center is all about providing a space for our students, especially when they're having a tough day. So the most commonly used service that we provide is that students can take a 15 minute brain break in our wellness center. So if you're sitting in class and you're having a hard time focusing, maybe because you're feeling anxious or there's something on your mind, you can ask for a pass from your teacher and then come to the Wellness Center and take a short break so that you get in the right headspace to head back to class. We also offer as needed um, walk-ins if you, if you need someone to talk to um, between us and the counseling team. We're usually able to find someone who can listen to you. Camelgard also talked about the needs that this service addresses. That we address with our counseling, for some students it might be handling stress, it might be that there's troubles at home, it might be dealing with depression or anxiety or another mental health concern. So it's really um, broad and depends on what students are needing and if they need support beyond what talking to someone just a few times might be able to get for them. Students who are in need of the Wellness Center's facilities can find it in admin too. The AP exam sign-up deadline is on October 22nd. Each exam costs $99. For any students taking exams, the AP exam scholarship deadline is today. And now we go over to Jackson Hooker with sports. Good morning and welcome to this Friday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Jackson Hooker. Tonight the Tigers will take on the Yuba City Honkers at home. Yuba City comes into tonight with a record of 4-3 and 2-1 and and in league. Yuba is coming off of a dominant 67-35 win over Bella Vista, who the Tigers take on next week. The Tigers are coming into this game with a record of 4-3, but 1-2 in league. With a win tonight, the Tigers have a legit shot at earning a home playoff game as long as they finish out the year strong. The Tigers are red hot as well with two straight wins over River Valley and Stag. The Tigers' run defense will have their hands full as Yuba City has ran the ball a total of 213 times and only attempted a total of 67 passes. Yuba City has totaled 2,169 total rushing yards so far this season and 28 rushing touchdowns. The Honkers featured backs are junior Brandon Sanders, who has rushed for 691 yards and 10 touchdowns on 74 carries, and senior Joaquin Porqueo, who has rushed for 711 yards and 10 touchdowns on 61 carries. In other sports news, as volleyball nears the end of their season, they are 13-9 and 8-1 in league. That is good enough for second in the CVC behind Wood Creek. The Tigers will close out their season against Yuba City, Bella Vista, and Intercom. Um, I think like we've done pretty well. Our energy is really good as a team, and we've been working really well together and doing well. Senior Gracie Amos is leading the team in kills with 249. Sophomore Megan Gustis is leading the team in aces with 43 and blocks with 47. And senior Alina Beeman is leading the team in digs with 204. And that's on your home for Roswell High School Sports. Top plays break down some more at Tiger Sports Network, EOTSN. And now we go over to entertainment. Thanks, Jackson. Last Friday, James Bond, No Time to Die, hit the theaters. It was originally supposed to air in April, but due to COVID-19 concerns, it was pushed back. The new iconic movie will be the 27th movie that has hit the theaters, and there should be many more to come with there being 40 plus books. As I said in the September 28th broadcast, this will be Daniel Craig's last movie, so that makes the movie a little more thrilling, at least for me. The movie got an 84% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I completely agree with that, with there being great action scenes and a great plot. In other entertainment news, the launch trailer for the new Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy video game was released on October 12th. After first being announced at the E3 2021 on June 13th, fans have been very excited about the adaptation and the new trailer has set the expectations high. 5,000 units to the Hellraiser who kills the so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. We got this. Up! We'll win this together. Hit the music. Hopefully Square Enix doesn't drop the bar when the game finally releases on October 26th. And now we go back to news. Thanks, Chrissy. 
Football has created a bigger weight conditioning class than ever before. We go to Connor Baker with more on the story. This year's weight conditioning class for football players appears to be going mostly back to normal. The players are very appreciative to be back in the weight room. Without it, I wouldn't be, be able to work out every day, so b being able to work out somewhere every day just helps out a ton. To varsity head coach Adam Reinking, the weight conditioning class is not only required, but is necessary for the player's strength training, conditioning, and preparing for games. Having a class is the most important thing for a football program. Um, if you could get all, it, it's kind of a non-negotiable. You need to have a football class. Uh, it helps with so many aspects, the training, um, checking on their grades, uh, taking care of film sessions. Varsity safety Brennan Bass thinks the class is much more beneficial compared to last year. Last year with COVID, it wasn't the best, and this year it's really effective and beneficial. It helps us prepare for games pretty well. Due to COVID restrictions, last year's class had a much more challenging time. Uh, yeah, last year we, we had to work out outside every day, and, and we had, this year we're able to work inside, but we have to wear a mask still, so yeah. Both JV and varsity teams work out in the weight room together. Early on, this did cause issues, but those issues were quickly resolved. In the beginning, it was a little bit hard because like not everyone was putting in full effort, and then we fixed that, and everyone in there is doing the best they can, so it's been fine. Ranking hopes the class will expand in following years. That's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. And remember, we're always on eyeofthetigernews.com. See you next time.